Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear my channel. Happy birthday to you. Yeah, that was lame. But the point is, <laughs> today is the birthday of my channel. It has been one year and I cannot believe it. To be perfectly honest, um, a few of you have noticed that I haven't been keeping up my channel very well. Therefore, I did not even notice that it was my anniversary today until 10 o'clock tonight. So by the time you see this, it'll probably already be October 18th, which is the day after my anniversary. But, you know, we'll just go with it. I was watching Little Book Owl's video, and she has one from so probably like a couple weeks ago about her anniversary. And I was like, man, I think that my anniversary is probably coming up soon. So I go to my channel, and I look at my very first upload, and it's for today, October 17th. And it was kind of like really weird, because <laughs> the day that I thought about it was the day that my anniversary or birthday or whatever you want to call it actually was so it was a little weird but <laughs> here I am and here we are to celebrate my one year on YouTube I've actually been on YouTube a lot longer I had a beauty channel before I had my book channel but it's one year on this channel and this has been the most fun I've ever had doing any kind of videos on YouTube I love the book community yeah <laughs> so I'm gonna get into all that a little bit later this video is going to be a vlog and I'm just going to talk about my booktube experience and why I love it so much. Um, I'm also going to apologize to you guys and explain why I haven't really been keeping up my channel. I just want to quickly thank everyone so so much for subscribing to me in this one year and watching my videos, listening to me blab about books. It's been such a fun experience and I can't wait to keep going. and upload more videos. It's been so fun to just talk to you guys and interact with all of my subscribers and it's been a blast. So let's start off with um, me begging you for forgiveness <laughs> for not uploading like I want to. I've been back and forth between here and Indiana and my dad's in Indiana if anybody's wondering why I keep going back and forth. And I'm actually going to be moving to Indiana probably in November. It's kind of all up in the air right now. Um, we're kind of waiting on a house to close in Indiana before obviously we move my stuff up there. So once I'm settled down in the new house, I will be able to work a lot harder on my YouTube channel and my blog for that matter. I've completely given up on my blog for the time being, but I will get back to that as well. But YouTube is kind of my main concern out of the two because I just love YouTube and it, it's what, you know, got all of this started, having a blog and all that, so I feel like that should be my, if I can only pick between the blog and YouTube, I feel like YouTube should be my main focus. Anyways, um, but I've still been reading like crazy, I've still been doing all of that, I just haven't been making videos as much. Like I said, it's still going to be a little inconsistent until I can move into that house. That should be sometime in November. So I think it's kind of customary for on your one year anniversary to kind of talk about why you started booktubing and all of that good stuff. So that's what I'm going to do. Like I said, I had a makeup channel before this and I was really into makeup. And for those girls out there who are also into makeup or watch those videos on YouTube, you might have heard of Elle and I think her... YouTube name is like Glitter Girl 21 or something. She's extremely famous in the beauty community specifically. Anyways, she started doing book videos. I can't remember what they were called. They're like little book vlogs where she would talk about what she's read. I started to wonder like if there was other people out there on YouTube who also talked about books and videos and that's how I found the whole book community. And I just decided to make my own channel. My very first video was actually a bookshelf tour and it was like the puniest bookshelf tour in the history of bookshelf tours okay like I think I had maybe like 10 to 12 books um, but I had a lot of DVDs on the same shelf so it was like a DVD slash book collection video you can I'll link it down below but on the same day I also uploaded my very first review which was of Divergent by Veronica Roth so those are my first two videos on YouTube and it's embarrassing to go back and watch them but it's still fun because those were my first videos and I remember how excited I was and that first review was in the bathroom. I just remembered that. <laughs> and booktubing has just been so awesome for me. I've met so many awesome people and I feel so guilty because I haven't been on YouTube at all here lately. 
um, I would just get on to like check messages or upload a video like once a month but other than that I wasn't watching videos I wasn't doing any of that so I've lost contact with a lot of people I used to talk to on here and it makes me really sad I can think of three or four people right off the bat that I just don't talk to anymore and I miss their videos I miss talking to them so hopefully I'll be able to get in touch with you guys again so yeah I think that's pretty much all I wanted to talk about I just wanted to thank you guys for supporting me for a year and continuing to support me I wanted to thank you for being patient with me uh, while I go through this time of not being consistent. Thank you guys for watching all of my videos. I love you very much and I will see you in the next one whenever that is. Bye. Oh, what else was I going to say? And <coughs> that what that incurred <laughs> just decided to make let's pretend like that did not just happen okay